Good afternoon, YouTube family. I'm coming to you with another video on a meal prep. As you see in the picture, I have an onion. I have my frozen onion and peppers. This is my cream of chicken soup that I'm going to use for my turkey. This is frozen turkey from the holidays. I do this every year, so I have a remainder. I usually cut up usually the pieces that I won't eat, which are like half of the breast and things, because they do make good turkey pot pies or turkey tetrazzini anything turkey that you want to do throughout the year you can do it just by storing your turkey pieces so usually I do mixed vegetables but because I don't have mixed vegetables I'm going to try my hand at a California blend it is kind of like mixed vegetables but it's not your traditional so I have here my individual pie crust, which I don't have a picture of it. If I find a picture insert, it is by Pillsbury. It is the individual packets, and I do get those seasonal from Sam's. It is normally in a box of six, and it's usually around $5-ish. I, I can't remember the price because I normally buy at least three boxes at a time. So with that being said, stay tuned. Also just to show you, I am doing a meal prep as well. The reason I'm not really going to film this part because you've already seen me cook salmon burgers and that's what that is. I'll let you know what size I put with it. Okay, family, back to it. I'm going to take my frozen turkey parts, but first I'm going to use a little olive oil. I don't like anything to stick, even though I do use a non-stick coated pan. These are my favorite. I've tried the stainless steel. They're not to my liking. So I'm just going to place this in there. Put it on low, let it thaw, and I'll be back to show you. All right, family, I'm coming back to show you. Instead of having a top crust, I am doing a serious twist on this turkey pot pie. This is when Big Mama be in the kitchen and she pull everything out of the refrigerator and use it. So that's what I'm doing. I have some... Uh, Hawaiian rolls which was actually only two and as you see I have cubed them so this is going to be placed on top of my turkey pot pie as crumbles so be right back to show you okay family as you see this is not diced so these are my cut coat kitchen shears so when you have things that are hot this is how these shears come in handy and this is how you can dice hot things and you don't literally have to take it out of your pan or pot so I just wanted to show you that and I'll be right back to show you the end results okay family as you see here is my diced turkey all cut up so I'm going to go ahead and add my onions and peppers already diced this is my cream of chicken soup and then I will add my vegetables in the bottom you see some liquid that was a half a cup of chicken broth that I had left so I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm dropping my frozen chicken 
condensed soup in there along with my onions and peppers. And I'm going to put this back on the burner and let that soup defrost. There you have it. Be right back. All right, family, I am back. I wanted to show you, here's my other pie crust that I'm about to use for the turkey pot pie. This is how when a well pie crust wants to be nice to you. It just unrolls just like that, so easily and simple. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. The other one was being temperamental, so we'll be right back. Now, another twist. Your grandmother or mother or someone who probably taught you how to cook usually would do their pie crust like this by pricking the bottom. I do that sometimes with my pies, but I just wanted to show you. Or they may make slits in it. So I'll be right back. All right, family, I'm back. I wanted to show you because I don't have enough liquid to my liking, so we're gonna add some more liquid to that because we have larger vegetables to add to this mixture. So with that, this is about a two, this is about a two and a quarter. It looks more like a half, but I cut it at an angle, which was not straight. So it looks like it's almost, uh, three tablespoons, but it's not. So we're going to drop that in there like that to this mixture. I have a third cup of milk, just regular vitamin D milk. And here are my cooked vegetables that I'm going to add. So because it has liquid in it, we're gonna start there first. So I'm just going to dump that in there like that. And by the way, I do a lot of trial and errors. So I tr like to try things. I like to be daring when it comes to cooking. So this bag, which is from the Dollar Tree, let me show you the package. Check your Dollar Tree freezers for this name brand. TJ Farms. Only one dollar. So, with that being said, we're going to mix this and I'm already liking the consistency because it was just enough of liquid. So, I only added approximately two tablespoons of water to those vegetables and do understand they came straight out of the freezer so you do have that liquid once it defrosts on your vegetables so that's a little extra so i would say approximately two and a half tablespoons of extra liquid added to the one third cup of milk so to this mixture i'm going to Put in some seasoning, old faithful garlic powder. A little bit of Badea Complete Seasoning. I think we're going to leave it at that. I don't want to mix the flavors because I was going to add some kicking chicken family if you've never had this this is amazing by weber i would advise that you buy weber products at publix when they're on bogo however this was purchased at sam's so i think this is approximately maybe three dollars and fifty cents i'm not sure so So to this, I'm not going to add anything else because remember, my turkey was already seasoned before it was frozen because this is leftover turkey from the holidays. 
so. I'm going to pour it in the pie shell, which looks like that. Oh, I forgot to show you. This is what the bread, the diced bread looks like. So I'll show you once it's all put together. So here is the turkey pot pie without the top crust. And I'm going to use the diced bread as the topping. This is the first time I've ever tried this. Like I say, I like to try different things. So this takes a whole nother twist on this dinner. Be right back. All right, family. Usually when I am cooking, depending on what I'm cooking, I like to add some paprika just for the coloring. So that's what I'm adding to the top. just for coloring. And this is Badea smoked paprika. So I'm going to put this in the oven, my convection oven that is. I'm going to start it out at 350 for about 20 to 30 minutes and I'll check it then. And I'm going to name this turkey crumbles pot pie. Okay, family, here is the last of the final product for my turkey pot pie crumbles. So you may ask yourself, it's a little toasty on top. That's two reasons. I had my rack too close to the top row where it was too close to the heat and I smelt it burning. So that caused that darkening and also because of the smoked paprika. So if you don't like that, then I strongly suggest that you don't use any paprika and make sure that you adjust your racks in your oven. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video of my turkey crumble pot pie and if you like my video please thumbs up thumbs it up subscribe to my channel if this is your first time watching if you are returning thank you for coming back so if you can hit that bell notification and turn on your notifications so you'll never miss another one of my videos also share it with your family and friends and just tell everybody to just come on and get some fun and teachings on how to cook different things or how to cook in general and loving the food deals. So with that being said, family, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and be safe.